Facebook's head of global policy, Joel Kaplan, caving in to unbelievable pressure from his employer and uh, the left-wing colleagues who, uh, I mean, savaged the poor fellow. He apologized at a Facebook town hall event for supporting his friend, Judge Brett Kavanaugh, by sitting behind him in the, uh, there you see him, uh, on Capitol Hill. Kaplan said he should have talked to Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg and Chief Operating Officer Sheryl Sandberg first. Both Zuckerberg and Sandberg are said to have made it clear they consider Kaplan's appearance a big mistake. The same meeting, though, uh, Zuckerberg told his employees the company should embrace diverse views. He said it should, not that it does, uh, and certainly not those that support President Trump's agenda or his nominee to the Supreme Court. I, I think that I, I doubt there's anyone at Facebook that's embarrassed, but you should be. Uh, that, that was just that is awful. Awful. Now let's go to wonderful people, social media superstars, uh, President Trump's most loyal supporters, Diamond and Silk, joining us here in New York tonight. Great to have you with us. Oh, thank wow. you for having us. Thank you for having us. Uh, your friends at Facebook. Oh, my goodness. Ugh, yeah. I, I don't know what they possess. I was actually pleased to hear Zuckerberg say we've got to be more diverse in our, uh, our views and then uh, let uh, Sheryl Sandberg just uh, grab him around the neck and bring him under uh, uh, control. It's it just, I, I think that's just terrible. Well, it's sad that you can't have a personal opinion without being attacked for, you know, for having that right. opinion. Mm -hmm. That's so sad. Listen, we stand with Brett Kavanaugh. Um, he, I cried with him, not her. And I am so happy that they are confirming him. Mm -hmm. And I can say this here, shame on the left for taking the Me Too movement and politicizing it mm -hmm. and then using it as a weapon to weaponize against somebody and care to assassinating them. That is mm -hmm. wrong. And that right there is going to galvanize and motivate Republicans to go to the polls, people, we're and see vote. We're mm -hmm. seeing it in polls right now. The president's approval rating in the daily uh, Rasmussen uh, tracking poll, moving to 51% over the past week from 47, I believe it was earlier. Uh, and Republicans are now just about on par with Democrats for intensity uh, in the latest polls that we've seen. Well, you, you also see Democrats switching now. They said that they're, they're not going to vote for Democrats anymore after what they've seen. They can relate to that, how either their brother their father, their husband was accused of doing something, went to jail for something that they said that they did not do. So they see what's going on here, and it, it seems familiar. And because of that, they're like, no, we're voting Republican. Any American who does not believe in fairness, uh, who doesn't believe in uh, due process, mm -hmm. uh, and the presumption of innocence, the burden of proof lies on the accuser. It is, that is the American way. The left is trying to destroy this country oh, yeah. by destroying our values, our traditions, and our laws. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Listen, they resist because they don't want America to exist the way we know right. it. That's they right. want the destruction. Issue. They want chaos. Yeah. And everybody, and I don't care what side of the aisle you're on, you need to look at what just happened to this man. Today it was Kavanaugh. Tomorrow it can be your brother, your son, your father, your brother. You need to vote for Republicans. Yeah, they can do this to a man... <laughs> who served on the, the, the Circuit Court of Appeals for 12 years. For 12 who, years. Who's an extraordinary jurist, an extraordinary uh, human being. Impeccable yeah. record. The rest of us can just hang on tight when the left gets a hold of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But see, that's part of the left game. That's the part of the Democrat tactics. That's what they do. Uh -huh. If you think outside of the black box, then there's something wrong with you. We're going to take and ostracize and criticize you for thinking differently from us. And that's basically what they do. One thing about it. A little criticism of me just seems like way too much. <laughs> uh, Diamond and Silk have a, a, a new movie out. Uh, it's called The, the, the uh, Chit Chat Tour, I want to tell you about first. Uh, and uh, it's called Dummy Crats, is that correct? Dummy Crats, yes. Dummy yes. Crats. We want to give you just a little sample. Dummy Crats. In the face of hypocrisy, Diamond and Silk will stop at nothing. He called the police. Uh-huh. Maxine Waters! Where you at? Nancy Pelosi! Where you at? To expose... We need answers! Right now! The Dummy Grants. Diamond and Silk. You never have to check to see whether they're energized. They stay there. <laughs> 
And they're on the Chit Chat Tour, their next stop this Sunday in Marietta, Georgia. Great to see you both. Delighted. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. See you soon. Have yes. fun.